Hello, and welcome back to Tale of Two Wastelands. I'm Vic, and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And if you have feelings or opinions that you'd like to share on the ongoing No Face Cam saga, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I suppose you could do it if you have other things you want to share, too. Now that you have my permission, let's go talk to the residents of Jacobstown, which aren't looking as blue as I expected them to. But they're also not shooting at me, so that is the important part. Is there a cache in here? There is. You can keep the butter knife. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not popular with them either, apparently. I had some questions about Jacobstown. Such as? I'd like to know more about you. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. So Marcus, I think, must have been in... Fallout 2. Yeah, if he hung out with a tribal, it would have been Fallout 2. You were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Tell me about the tribal. We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Where did you come from? Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. Okay. Let's talk about something else. All right. I'm trying to figure out who this voice actor is. Why do some of the super mutants here dislike the NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Yeah, how come the rest of y'all don't have a problem with the Legion? What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. That's an interesting take on the Legion. What makes the NCR too ambitious? They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Well, uh, lucky for you and for me, they're only going to be around for a few more years. Do you have any dealings with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Yeah. Let's talk about something else. All right. What's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Yeah, there was sort of a fad of that for a while. Uh, any town rules I need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Yeah, I think I can live with that. I have to go now. See you. 
At the very least, I'm not going to steal anything that I might get caught stealing. That's, that's close enough, right? That ought to be close enough. So we got a uh, nice green lake and the Overlook Lodge and some cute little casitas. Oh, it's Lily. I had forgotten about Lily. But we are here for Dr. Henry. Who I assume is not a super mutant. But he's probably here to help cure the nightkin of their schizophrenia. Another human. One was enough. Be cool. Fox. So this is where you've been hanging out, huh? Alright, you, you can stay put. Are you Dr. Henry? I don't think you are. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. What do you do here? Most of the time. I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Does anyone other than super mutants come up this way? Prospectors looking for salvage usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. You have an interesting name. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. I have to go now. Bye. Night Stalker. I wonder what they've got to do with... Come on, guys. Let me out. Treating Someone the Nikon. To put down that sick motor. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. What are you working on? The Nikon have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'd like to help. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big hornets to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. What makes you think the mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Why is the Stealth Boy Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Does Stealth Boy use hurt humans? It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nightkin. That's interesting. I wonder why that would be. Let's talk about something else. If we must. I have to go now. 
Yes, yes. We'll talk about Arcade later. Now, do I want to bring Lily with me? I guess I can do that. What's up? It's time for us to part ways. Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. You sure you want me to go? I'd like you to go back to the 38. Ah, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. It's not a tomb. It's my kingdom. All right, EDE. I guess it makes. Then we will speak again soon. I guess it makes sense that Fox would hang out here. Jimmy, little Jimmy, my how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit your grandma. I'm looking into the Night Stalker mutation. Boom, those Night Stalkers, always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. I'll take that as a yes. Also, uh, which one of us just beeped? I hope it was you. I'm not sure I have a good reason to be beeping right now. Those trees seem out of place, don't you think? Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. How have they been harassing the town? Killing our bighorners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. What do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. It's not Michael Dorn, is it? Let's see what I can do. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that receptive they are to my persuasion. Our business is with the muties, not you. What do you want with Jacobstown? Just doing what I'm paid to do. Harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. Either way, the job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. Who are you doing this for? Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. I have to go now. Yep. Get a move on. And I'm just gonna read a magazine, and then we're gonna have a talk again. I've used more magazines in this playthrough than ever in a Fallout game before. Where's the one that I want? Meeting people? Hmm, I better make some more of those soon. What? Go away or you'll have to deal with me. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Good. Off to Night Stalker land, right? That is what I have marked, isn't it? No, it is not. There we go. Hey. Hey. Well, you guys had some good stuff. Maybe I should have killed you. I'm really not. My inner dialogue is uh <laughs> not as good karma as I <laughs> as I thought it might be. Maybe my inner dialogue is, it's just that my outer inner dialogue isn't. Intrusive thoughts, there we go. I 
You keeping up, Lily? Good. Where is there what or was there a trail I was supposed to be following? Doesn't feel very traily, I guess. Those rocks look like they ought to have ore in them. Don't you think? Past it? Where is it? Oh. <laughs> Alright, and what do we have in here? I don't think I need either of those. Oh. Alright, Lily. Time for peace of mind giving. Well, this doesn't look very natural, does it? Don't think it's a good idea to sleep in this bed. Didn't work out for the previous occupant, anyway. Yeah, get him, Lily. Apparently they're having some trouble detecting me, which is... This is pretty funny. Because I'm definitely not invisible. I don't know why, I've never... Felt inclined to use stealth poison. I might have actually used one earlier in the playthrough, though, haven't I? I feel like there ought to be one or more in here, and I almost shot at Lily. So we got we got dead peoples, and we got dead critters. We got some weird coin slot mushrooms that I don't like. I mean, I don't like any mushrooms, but I especially don't like those coin slot mushrooms. I'm pretty sure I'm lost already. And I don't really know why I'm collecting brain fungus, so I'm gonna stop. Well, it has been an episode or two since I last got irradiated, hasn't it? everybody. Dr. Henry didn't say anything about needing to be careful with the Night Stalkers, right? Uh, if he wanted me to be careful, he wouldn't have invited me to bring Lily along. Big Horners. I assume these are yours, Lily. Oh, and a nightkin with a chewed stealth boy. You can keep your nail board. But I'm going to take O oh Baby. You know what, Lily? I think you should have O oh Baby. Grandma's got a present for you. 
Although you do also have that uh, bumper sword or whatever. Oh, baby. Where is it? There it is. That is some pretty big damage. And I think she likes it. All right. I don't know why I've chosen to abandon stealth. Right up Main Street. I guess it does make it a little easier to find the hostiles. Here, this is the main den over here. Okay. Lily has some fun lines, but I really don't have much tolerance for her voice. So we may not hang out with her much. It would be nice to do her quest, but we need to get back on track with Ganon. This way? No. Yes? No. Yeah, this way is right. I'm really not overly concerned with missing out on other loots in here. There might well be other loots. And I will survive not collecting them. Well, how convenient for Dr. Henry that the cause of the mutations is in the Night Stalker cave next door and not in one of the ones on the other side of the Mojave Desert. I'm gonna say those uh, those spikes don't look terribly effective. I mean, yeah, they didn't hurt at all. They seem to have lost all of their spike. How was I supposed to get back? Maybe I should have just fast traveled. PDE? What are you doing in there already? Show me how you got in. Can I get in through here? I don't think so. Yeah. Alright, Lily, are you gonna show me where the back entrance is? And no, not like that. Can we get through here? That sure looks like I ought to be able to get through. Nope. Well, we'll make our way around eventually. Excuse me. Yeah, I really wonder where the path I was supposed to have taken is. <laughs> EDE is just off on his own doing whatever. Give me that. Yeah. 
I should uh, I should see if there's a workbench in town that I can use. Hey, bud. Something on your mind? You won't have any more trouble with those mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. What's the story with Keen? Smart, charismatic, a hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Why does he want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. What happens if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. Wouldn't they listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Let's talk about something else. All right. For example, me leaving. See you. All right. So I'm not sure that this is going to prove very helpful for Dr. Henry's research. I wonder if that means I'm going to have to make myself crazy with a stealth boy. That could be fun. There you are. Is there something else I can do for you? I found a chewed up stealth boy. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Why Lily? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. I'll talk to Lily then. I'll be waiting. Oh, Lily. Heavens to Betsy, but Mr. Betty met a nasty end. I hope you've realized, Pumpkin, that crime doesn't pay. Well, it frequently does, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Do you still want to help Dr. Henry? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. All right. Sure would be nice if I could just summon Arcade. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Go ahead. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Okay, well, I wonder where back is. I suppose if I stand in the doorway, that's probably safe. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. 
strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah. How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is stable, and the readings are clean. Gamma wave activity is zero. Odd, but everything looks right. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Oh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Okay, well, uh, with that, it looks like we're all at a time, so come back and see me again tomorrow, and I think I'm going to have to intervene in this situation. Talk to you soon.